Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. GPS aided geo augmented navigation or Gagan is a space based augmentation system for providing best possible navigation services over Indian FIR that is flight information region with capability of expanding to neighboring FIRs. It was jointly developed by ISRO and Airport Authority of India. Now on 1st June 2023, India conducted Asia's first demonstration for performance based navigation for helicopters showcasing the cutting edge capabilities of Gagan. The flight demonstration of a point in space departure from Zuhu Airport in Pune utilizing the low level route that is LLR RNP 0.3 with assistance of Gagan has been successfully validated. The LLR RNP 0.3 route refers to low level route with a required navigation performance that is RNP a specification of 0.3. RNP is again a navigation a specification that ensures aircraft can fly precisely along a predetermined flight path with a specified level of accuracy. The RMP value represents the lateral navigation accuracy in nautical miles. For example, the LLR RNP 0.3 route indicates that helicopters flying on this route must maintain a navigation accuracy of 0.3 nautical miles, allowing for precise and reliable navigation at low altitudes. The LLR RNP 0.3 route is especially designed to support helicopter operations, providing them with a designated and optimized flight path for efficient and safe travel. The successful demonstration of this technology has showcased the commitment made during the fourth Haley India Summit of Project Akash, which aims to establish safe and efficient air corridors using advanced features of Gagan. Our next update is related to BrahMos NG missile. The BrahMos missile is a prime conventional strike weapon of tri services of India. Indian Army has deployed BrahMos batteries in Ladakh and Arunachal Pradesh along its border with China. Indian Navy has armed all its capital warships with BrahMos missile. The Air Force has deployed Su-30 MKI modified aircraft to carry BrahMos in almost all its squadrons. Now the BrahMos airspace has started working on BrahMos NG or next generation BrahMos missile which is expected to be lighter and still the version of existing platform. The missile weighs almost half of the regular BrahMos missile. The design work on BrahMos NG is going on and design assessment will be done in Moscow soon following which there will be qualifying trials of the new version of BrahMos missile by the year 2024. By 2025, it is likely to be provided to Indian Air Force. The company is aiming for 1330 kg of weight and performance in terms of range to be around 300 km at a speed of Mach 3.5 and launchable from any aircraft. The BrahMos NG will feature an indigenous seeker with AESA radar and it will have a lesser radar cross-section in comparison to the previous versions. The speed and range of BrahMos NG makes it powerful standoff weapon and very effective in said missions. The Su-30 MKI will be able to carry 5 BrahMos NG missiles and LC Tejas will be able to carry 2 of them. Each BrahMos NG missile will cost approximately $2.6 million. The BrahMos Aerospace has also planned to make BrahMos NG capable of being launched from torpedo tubes. This will greatly boost the firepower of Indian Navy's submarine fleet and negate the need of vertical launch system in Project 75I submarine. The existing Calvary class submarines will also be capable of launching BrahMos NG from its existing 533mm torpedo tubes. At present, the Calvary class submarines can launch only Exocet SM-39 anti-ship missile with a range of just 50 kilometers. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, 
I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.